Hi all, I have another interesting test game to show you. This is Leela ID 61056. So this is quite recent from the time of this video, which is currently the 8th of November 2019. So only a few days back, this ID uh, seems to be getting a new peak self ELO rating. This is on a very fast and furious uh, time limit, one minute with one second increment. And DCAP provides uh, a selection of games. Interestingly, this is again Stockfish 10, but not the absolute latest Stockfish in development. Uh, let's have a look at this game. So E4 from Leela, so 61056, against the official, I believe, Stockfish 10, not the development version. We have the Vienna game as the start position. So end the book here, quite early compared to, say, TSEC, Fematic uh, games in the Super Final. It'll be much deeper than this. So it's an interesting test, I believe, here. Bishop c5 was played, bishop g2, knight f6, knight g e2. So this doesn't interfere with the f pawn. It keeps uh, an eye on d5. So it looks like a fairly easy to play plan for white. d6, and white does try and grab the dark square bishop with knight a4. Uh, bishop d4 was played. We have d3, so not taking that bishop immediately. Both sides castle. a5, and now the bishop is threatening to go back to a7 potentially. It's snapped off here. Knight takes d4, knight takes d4, and the knight returns. Bishop g4, and here we see f3, bishop d7, and white is not afraid here to play f4. If the bishop did return to g4, then it seems queen d2 might be uh, the idea. For example, like this, with white having a small edge. Once the knight retreats, it can always kick this knight with c3. That's a key feature here. So we have uh, c6 being played, actually, instead. f5. And it looks to me, you know, a comfortable position that I'd normally be happy to play with white with good uh, winning prospects, because it seems to me like a, a king's engine attack in reverse. Black does seem to be trying to arrange either b5 or d5 at some point. Uh, we see h6 here. So this prevents that potentially nasty pin, h6. But it is something to attack. So g4 with the prospects of g5. Black plays queen b6. Uh, on knight h7, then perhaps actually white doesn't have to immediately rush on the king side. A move like a4 just, just to discourage b5. Uh, because if b5, then there's options of using the d5 square after taking, taking for example. Uh, but let's say queen b6, king h1. This position seems quite nice uh, for white. So uh, a, a nice advantage there. So queen b6 immediately, not knight h7. We have king h1 getting out of the way, a4. Does black have sufficient counterplay on the queen side here? We have uh, g5, hg, bishop takes g5, so not minding the loss of b2. This is a very interesting uh, sacrifice. Uh, we have knight h7. On queen takes b2, then a lot of damage is actually done with bishop takes. So for example, queen takes c3, queen g4 threatens mate. On that would be like desperate actually. If g6, there's things like queen h4. So this is a desperate defense. It's hopeless for black. Uh, it's carnage. So uh, knight h7, not taking on b2. The bishop drops back to protect b2. And black doesn't seem to have that much counterplay. In fact, this already looks pretty fatal for black. I know it's a very, very fast time limit. And Hopefully we can get longer time limit games to test these uh, openings. So this is just a test game, really. It's not such a serious game. But it seems uh, intuitively as well that um, the g file is pretty lethal for black here. We have d5. This already looks desperate. Rook b1. Uh, if white was tempted with e takes d5 here, then bishop takes f5 and black is actually fine. Black should be fine. So that's actually ignored, very important to ignore that. Rook b1 to keep this clamp on the position. The queen goes back. And maybe coming to h4 could be a nuisance. In fact, queen h5 stops all of that and doesn't mind about losing c2. So white is pretty relaxed here with this, this use of the g file. We have b5. 
if knight takes c2 here as an example then actually the knight ha has actually neglected uh, the f3 square that can be used as a pivot uh, in this case and for example this is actually a very dangerous position even if the rook's not going behind the queen why well, can arrange this position with the other rook coming to g1 later and this kind of pressure seems pretty convincing as though white's going to get a huge position eventually this is just a fictional variation but white is really calling the shots so to speak this is a dominant position so we have actually b5 being played a3 knight f6 queen h3 so dropping back all the way to h3 and actually stockfish 10 took on c2 here uh, this is actually a very very difficult position to play for black if queen e7 is an example an example this pin is nasty and then even ed just taking on d5 well that's just a crushing so yeah black has to tread very carefully so we have actually knight takes c2 uh, now bishop g5 b4 a takes knight takes b4 rook f3 a3 trying to get some sort of counterplay over here after b takes though uh, black doesn't take on a3 plays d4 if rook takes a3 it seems as though white can just say thing ignore the knight just to gain another key tempo for the attack with queen h4 so for example this position rook h3 pressing then queen h8 mating and that just wins the queen if black has only knight h5 so it will be absolutely fatal really to consider taking on a3 for taking on c3 d4 a takes d takes c3 queen h4 so again lining up for the killer rook h3 well it's made the game look very very easy and yes i th i think <laughs> it, it is a, li a little bit strange but as i say stockfish 10 the official one i'm i think them it's not as strong as the development versions uh so especially at this time control to be fair so c2 rook c1 and in fact the game ended here after rook e8 uh both sides thought it was like plus eight for white uh, so if for example rook g3 that looks like a killer move just threatening bishop takes f6 and if the king has to evacuate then queen h8 check and this is just lethal so f6 is going to drop and black's just getting dismantled here this is just totally over this position uh yeah it's just it's just falling to bits basically there's not really uh, any counterplay there to speak of so it's just a test game um i will be trying to look at slightly longer time controls like three minutes with two second increment but i thought it was fascinating traditionally the uh, bullet games were used as a kind of intuition test of engines when comparing and did seem to be predicting the, the results on longer time controls so bullet traditionally has played a role in testing engines uh, as far as I'm aware and uh, yeah but yes it's such a fast time that don't take it too seriously it shows some of the, the real dangers of the Vienna game uh, with black if white can play for g5 then there's quite lethal potential for batteries on the H file, as this shows. I hope you got something from it. And if you want to check out and train on variations of the Vienna game, uh, there's King's Crusher TV there, that link slash Vienna. So I hope you enjoy this little testing series of the Vienna, theoretically. And uh, yeah, good luck in your chess. Thanks very much.